If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. By the way, I'm an ST200 model. I mean, I thought you might be interested to know that. Hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Tonya, or Kitten. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I just want to give out my announcements. Thank you very much to DDQ Andrews for your sub. It's really appreciated. As you're thinking about that, I need to contact you again for your another... Um, emote gift that you get or little logo picture um in the background you can kind of hear my girlfriend she is uh building what are you building today baby night in night in cantors yeah so that's cool so you might hear some clipping or some f-bombs as maybe some pieces fall to the floor so she threw it on the ground <laughs> i'm also slurping a cup of tea at the moment a little bit late starting, I normally start at 10. Well, I can't remember for life if I actually corrected the schedule because I have to do it each week because it's alternative um, weekends depending on what game we're playing D&D wise. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human, carrying on. I did a five hour stint. Hey honey, how is um, Grey's Anatomy? Welcome in honey. Oh, I'm Shout out. All being well, nothing's changed since last time. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this, but I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. I mean, oh, thank you. I like it. I, I tell you what, for the intro for this game, I absolutely love how they've done this. Okay, so trying to sum up quickly with where we got up to, we have on um, like three main characters. We're on the detective, Connor. Um, we are on the story with, um, oh, we'll get them in a little bit, but uh, not Ethan. Ethan's Resident Evil. Um, not Sean. I remember we've got the guy that we're doing who's kind of like starting a rebellion without realizing or maybe he does realize and then we've also got um i think her name's Kara, Kara, and she is the one with the little girl is there i'm just gonna lurk in the background no problem honey you lurk and you look tired today I am a little tired. Okay. I'm doing fine, thank you. ST500. <laughs> volume off. All right, so let's start. We almost caught ourselves when we were Kara and the kid. Um, also, we were the detective chasing each other, and that was really funny. So now, each character, apart from the detective, each character is kind of like doing a new thing that they're not used to now. It's lucky I was late starting the stream up a little bit, considering that we kind of blew the fuse when I put in a new light bulb. Mm. Aha, okay, so where were the kind of rebel robots that are now going to try and get some more medicine and stuff to help 
Hey, sick. Good evening, honey. Oh, another shout out for you. Ah, oh, I need to remember not to add the at. This is crazy. There we go. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the cyber lab. We played five hours of this. Uh, not last week, the week before. Hopefully, we'll be okay. Oh, well, by the way, have sorry. Did you make it? I did make you a tea. It's in front of you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've lost them. I was about to give this model away and I remember that you can't buy it anymore. I'll oh, see so you're keeping it for yourself. Well, otherwise I, I don't, otherwise I won't have it for my army, which is kind of a shame because it's such a cool, cool character. Okay. Because you can't actually get it anyway, except for if they maybe bring it out again in a combat. Oh, you played this too! Cool. So I was just responding quickly to Sick. I'm going to take one earphone out so I can actually hear you as well, baby, a bit better. Um, uh, so Zanny is, paint, uh, is building a knight and cantor. Yeah. How are you painting that, babe? Oh, it's going to be my celestial warbringer. It's my pink, uh, sort of purplish pink yeah. armor. The one which you, I, I painted with the spear guys. No. Yeah. Is that the one that you did with like a I'm kind of like away. blue turquoise color? Yeah, I've already done that one before, but I'm changing the head on this. I don't have to paint the pink head. Okay. That makes sense. Actually, just like having helmets wherever I can. I do like not having a person. I can get my can a helmet in what kind of Yeah. The only problem is that when you have like when you have like the the box set that came in Dominion, you can paint you can if you you, you can um do all helmets if you want, but then that means the two of the models get end up looking similar. Yeah. So I prefer to do like one with the head, one without him, one with one with a helmet, one, one with a head, because at least it looks slightly different. And I can pick it out a bit better and go, oh, the one without the helmet has X wounds left, exactly. and the one with doesn't. Exactly. That makes sense. Okay, oh, I'm and uh, Six says, hey, Zanny. Hi, Sick. Yeah, uh, Sick, I was going to ask you how you got on with um, the last day. I, don't, I, I know I came into a couple of streams, I don't think I saw that game get finished at all. The warehouse is up ahead, we're almost there. Same sort of static sound I had from my first video. Leave it to me. Stream. We had that same. Oh, that star braids tier was ridiculous. I don't mind, but it's a pain to nice. paint. Found it. Okay, so you straight on this for a second. Okay. Wow. 
okay. badass. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Marcus. Ooh, me and no. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. I just love the image when she's pushing firewall. Like literally like looks like she's pushing against it so she can get upstairs to help the girl. <laughs> No, you know when when um, the the Kara, 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 yeah. You know when Trust she's like downstairs and the dad is about to beat is about oh. to beat his daughter. Yeah. And then she literally is like trying to go upstairs, but he told her to stay downstairs. You're breaking through. So he's, the she, the, you'll see basically watch her push forward. And this is red wall in front of her saying denied or something like that, and then she's just pushing and then she breaks it and walks upstairs. Yeah. That is really cool. In a what are you doing? I it told reminds you. me so much of being of humans. Humans? Show. Humans or being human, I think. I think being human is something else. Yeah, the robot and the guy who played as Merlin as a robot as well. I'm sorry, Josh. I'm sorry. It's been quick. Um, Six says, I had a good weekend painting video games and the cinema. Oh, what did you say at the cinema? The, the game early. made me learn the button position of my controller. It so does. That's brutal. Yeah, I think quite darker in this version. Yeah. Heavy rain is still the darkest. Yeah, but at the same time, calling out your the kid's name is just really funny. Sean, Sean. Sean. I can't remember if it's actually Sean. Sean. I know Sean is Fallout Four with the baby. I can't Sean. remember what the baby is or like Sean. Jacob or something. It's like Jacob, Sean. Jacob. It's it Jacob, ridiculous. Yeah. Jacob, Jacob. You saw the Last Jewel by Ridley Scott movie. I think I know that one. Do you know about that one, babe? Mm. Last you. I'm so out of touch with what's in the cinema at the moment. I don't really go to the cinema. Well, and I won't until everyone fucking. Yeah, oh, I think I might just connect it for a second. Okay. I just draw the USB to the laptop. When you're having to actually shake the, the controller to a particular position, you have to be careful to knock the UN out. I've had that a few times. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. remember if it was friends or was it something else where they talk about how if I was a criminal mastermind I would be no the Oh I've lost connection. What's uh, what's happened? You're back. Is it your first run of the game? It's technically my first because I've not finished it. Um I'm a little ahead to where I am here. Um because you've lost yeah, because we ended up because we had to because we lost our subscription what? after we moved country because unfortunately oh, PlayStation doesn't really like Andorra. No one likes Andorra. <laughs> or knows no, it exists. There's no Apple. There's no Apple Store. There's no PlayStation Store. We have no, to use the no, UK no, one. Yeah. Everything is. No risk for us. We can't just leave him here. He's coming. We can't bring him back. Yeah, it's too dangerous. They come with us. Goes off next time. I know where you can find more spare parts. I got you in the summer. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? <laughs> Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll we can swim without being out. This is suicide, Marcus. Okay. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. Mm. My goals are very mixed. And if we get killed, um, I was we'll far more passive and like peaceful and diplomatic in the first time I played. Um, but at the same time, in this game, I seem to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. I still, I still tend to try and do what I feel is right. So like, yeah, I killed that guard, but at the same time, I didn't want to leave those, you know, other droids like there. I wanted to actually go. 
I am noticing that I'm not always picking up certain things, which is a bit frustrating. Like, for example, I didn't actually check the other options I had, I just went straight with, oh, kill him. I didn't actually look properly. Um, I, I would love to see you play Phoenix Wright. What's Phoenix Wright? It's an attorney game where you have to get all the clues together and make your make your declarations at the end and you can be right or wrong. Oh. <laughs> if you're wrong, you send the wrong person to jail and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> what, about, um, what about you, Sick? Were you... Uh, oh, Sick says Phoenix Wright is amazing. It is. Yeah. Um, what, how did you play this game? Were you more peaceful or were you more aggressive? Sick also says that they love them so much. I can't be burnt now. Supposedly serious. Looks like it. And he should be done already. Maybe we can set off an alarm. Guards are really shit at their jobs, by the way. You were in a droid prison where all the droids were programmed not to be able to hurt you. Probably just sit there looking at the wall most. Probably oh. to fight. Uh, I was very peaceful looking for the best ending when I say best because it's a question of point of view, of course. Absolutely. We'll try not to kill them. I don't actually want to hurt them. I just want them to be scared. My stunningly blue and brown eyes. Oh. I didn't kill them. No, I, I would prefer not to at all times. Oh, I should kill. Oh. No, there we go. Nice. Yeah. I want to know where she got her out. Uh, what? Nice. I'm not playing Beyond Two Souls though, which I is know. really cool because I love Beyond Two Souls and I would happily play that again. I again. can expect to see Alan Payne. Yeah. Cool. Have a look at I, I really like Elliot Page. It'll be interesting to see what he thinks he does next. Sorry, that's hard though because when it's games and old movies you tend to think more about um, what they're credited as at the time. You just, I would be interested to see what Elliot Page is doing in 
Frodo Academy or whether if they just could character actor because I hope as long as he was comfortable that would be good you know I don't want them to put them in like an uncomfortable situation exactly. oh that's that um, or that could cause trauma there's a character trauma. transition a lot yeah the a truckload. Yeah, if Elliot wanted that, then yeah, we I stole hope so. a whole truckload. We got bio components for everybody. Thirty odd comics. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Well, a dark horse. I've already had. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Sounds free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Dark with the tea time. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. Fuck yeah, Ma. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! We're free. So sorry for Marcus when um, he loses his human friend at the beginning, the artist. That was sad. They actually had a really nice rapport with each other. So the guy's son Leo shows up. Jericho's here. Yeah, I'm not gonna read through. <laughs> if it's a shorter one, I'll I'll look through. But uh, that is too much to read. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're at the Eden Club. Oh, like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. I got lost in this the first time Let's around when I got to this point. I didn't do very well. Don't be friends with Hank. Not lying. Connor is pretty much simping to. Sexy we will be the Starsky and Hutch. We will be the Turner and Hooch. Turner is the future dog. Don't care. Oh boy. Connor's probably the dog. More obedient. What? <laughs> what is true? Yeah, he's the dog. <laughs> is coming up now if you wish to see <laughs> if, you wish to, oh, oh, if you want to become a master dear subscriber uh, on patreon then your number one prize is to watch <laughs> get to do this <laughs> i can do that i can go all the way back i'm pretty i'm pretty sure Jimbo, Jimbo like me. <laughs> my shoes are always more good <laughs> anyway we've lost hank we got we got a bit Turned around. We got a bit turned on. Turn around. Turn around. Distracted. <laughs> turn on. Turn around. Plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. 
Okay, oh, yeah. Yes, Paul. Mm, yeah. There's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Oh, double ox ball. Good night, Lieutenant. Asshole. Asshole. Not asshole enough. <laughs> okay, Victor and Android. Time to do what we do best. Look. Sir. Damage. Not the time. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Okay. I don't find circle beds massively tacky if they're done right. of strangulation, asphyxiation. Okay, so the original has that. See, spray Michael. Okay? That's the one that you think. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh sure. I like it. Hair is a bit of a pain. I don't really want to do that. So. The hair? You see, she's got this massive hair thing going yeah. back. Yeah. You've not added that on. You've not done on the. Uh, she's got a smaller profile. You've done like the halo crown thing. I kind of want for a smaller profile. says Michael Graham. Oh, because credit card, cash in the wallet. It's not exactly. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. and I reacted to you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? Shit, we should have said model. Stupid. I always do that. There was another android. This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Hank, I'm your guy, sweetie. Oh, shit. You have the best man. That's it, I'll know, Hank. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. 
Oh, did you know the victim? Yeah, the girl found came in maybe two, three times. <laughs> what colour I had getting to her, pretty much, you know. We come in, they leave to their business, and they go on their way. You think they have any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. The last of our two, three months back, but uh, same model. Just vanished when they found out what happened. So. Probably don't have any CCTV. Excuse me, Lieutenant. You can uh, six, sir. Sorry, I have been AFK something. during a couple of minutes. Did I miss Maybe. any something? No, we're just talking about uh, Connor and Hank uh, getting married in my fanfic dreams. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just <laughs> trust me. If we weren't friends, would he not do it? Hello, a 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. Jeff is called Kank. <laughs> this is not mm, going to look good so on my expensive cap. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Room is blow it up. I'll try not to blow it up. Oh shit! What the hell are you doing? Saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Shit, here you go. Hey, what am I supposed to Let's try this one. This better be worth it. Back into a pub. This is where I get lost because I can't remember which way is the back. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. No, I lost its track again. You spent all this money, and I'm still not having fun. I really appreciate the act of playing Hank. Nothing. I know. Blue haired trait. Let me see if we can come this way. He's 
just check. Oh, there we go. Into the blue room. Is this one? He's obviously satisfied. <laughs> well done. Didn't see anything. I made a so mistake. playing uh, Wasteland. The Wasteland's three. Got the it's like you're literally like yeah, have some basically have some you have some speed or something. It will make sure you don't have the jitters while you're having sex. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. I must be looked at. I lost its track again. Can't forget. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking it. This is crazy. Yeah, come on. Hey, you're stuck on it. Hank, stop dawdling, your Wait. sweet big ass chuchi. I'll take it from here. Oi. You have the best chuchi, you know this. I don't need to say it. Be respectful. Oh, okay. I thought you were just getting jealous. Or killing, or killing him. <laughs> I can boggle any pretend gaming character I wish. Oh, by the way, I do actually have. Um, uh, point rewards where you can actually rename these characters. Shit. Now, of course, there are sometimes games where you can't technically do it, but I'll still create a command that allows it. So we'll just do it for fun. I know how he tastes everything. It's gross. Efficient, but gross. Christ, look at him. Oh, okay. Get used to the. Ah. <laughs> okay. Two. Oh, 
I'm not, I'm not shooting them. I'm not. Refuse. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. better this way. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That was really, really awesome. <laughs> Ooh, got the trophy down. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'm not fucking killing them, though. I, I refuse. Okay. So now I have my correct. Yeah, I have done this one. Like these have done part of this one, and then we get up to like the weird sort of uh, cabin. Lisa. Family. Different Luther. I've gone for the hair in the end. Alright, sick. Good night, darling. Thank you so much for popping by. Give me another shout out, darling. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Put the hair on just in the trap. end. Yeah, you did put the hair on. Because the profile just looked too small. Oh, okay. The helmet didn't look small. Oh, there you go. Oh. Lovely. I had to I had to I had to use this. Uh, one, yeah? Do this and do a curve and oh. curve it down. Otherwise it wouldn't fit down it. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency <laughs> brakes activated. I got the car broke down. Of course it does. No, things are checking the car before they travel. <laughs> I this don't car think that's is definitely a particular in good I, shape. Yeah, but you're not gonna know. Nothing's going to happen while we drive this car. Oh, but, 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 but. oh that's cool. We can check the car. Stay inside, Alice. Ifri. Ifri's awesome. Ifri's awesome. I'll inspect her. I'm just going to give up on the car region. Right, I'm just... Yeah. Yeah. Sheldon, your check engine light is on. Oh no. Excuse me, now check your engine. Degrees. Alice won't make it. Oh yeah, 30 degrees for power. Okay, also Mario was like, 30 degrees? You would be melting. Well, we can stay around here. You just got to video games start coming out of the UK now that you can use pounds again. Oh, 
questions for Shell to like. No, Joe. Please look that. Just the little yeah. change, but they look different enough. That's so good. I can definitely feel the hit of the um, of the glue hitting my eyes. Over there. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Darling, it's we've got a, a bit, bit of a headache, problem. But it's okay. I've got a night off my I think this is what we said last time. I'm not sure if there were other options. There probably was, but I think this is the second time again. We need to find shelter. Oh, we have to get out of the cold. Or at least Looks where like we stay. Are you doing anything else before bed, or is that what you planned on? Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. I'm a structure. Unsafe. <laughs> so it's that cutscene. Oh yeah, I can't see because we've got the light behind you and it's that. Okay, so more of the burgundy, so burgundy with the sort of it's it's gonna be white. It's just it's just oh, that's on the shade. gray layer still. Okay, yeah, it's gonna look great. That's why I chose that helmet because it goes with that style. Hmm. And Alice, what holds you? I know walls are great, but yeah, they don't build them for functionality. And again, carrot pieces have evolved now where you can actually just get the walls at the magnetic bottom, apart. so you can just stick the guys on. It's not going to be easy up. to find shelter. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but I still like them to have a little soft, right, cozy place to be. Because we're in the pirates' boat. Oh, so. it's, yeah, it's real. I thought it was going to say it was a real skeleton. No, 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 yeah, yeah, it's not real. It's a, it's a theme park. Yeah. I get it now, I don't feel so stupid. <laughs> yeah, this. They're too smart for me. Streetwise for me? Streetwise. I am the least streetwise person ever. And what that said about me? <laughs> the least is least. Yes. Here we go. Get yourself a Julian. You look so cute. Lovely baby. Lovely I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Love you, honey. What's on the news there? Miss. I'll oh, say Miss Iowa. USS Iowa missing. Not another congenial Miss Congenial. American vessel last seen. All Android band tipped for music prize. Band scream traditionalist. The security expert warns your Android could be Some cookies left. Would you like some? 
No, I'm not hungry. Yeah, yes. fire started. You maybe? I need to get. Uh, make a better bet. Oh, we got a better fan. Do you think we'll be like them someday? we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. This has been another tough day. Try to get some sleep. Things will look better in the morning. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Let's go with... This is a story about a knight. No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together, to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but They stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met <laughs> another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, loser? Uh, yes. Yes, of course.
Night Alice. Sleep tight. Mm. Oh, that turret could look cool as fuck. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We've seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara! I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> you put the lights on. I can't remember if they actually do that or not, that'd be cool if they could. Get the carousel work? Be our guest! Aww, that's so beautiful! The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! First time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. The dogs. I love when it keeps jumping up. So cute.
Wir können es Oh, was that sorry? Uh, oh dear. What's that? What happened to the man of the century, the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? Politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? I think most older. A China earthquake kills 10,000 people. And market predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of the Arctic conflict. President Warren at 33% approval. And CyberLife world's first trillion dollar company. I don't even know what trillion dollars look like, let alone a million. Hey, thank you Sam. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? My friends, please let me... All androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. Bet. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They didn't want anything. Oh shit, no. They're deviants. End of story. No. Shit, 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 shit. What about oh. you, Connor? Do you look human? Do you sound human? But what are you? Really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. We know they're in love. Shoot Connor. Because they're in love. We'll Some scruple it. suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? 
I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. <gasps> we have a Where friend! Are going? Get drunker. I need to think. <laughs> yes! Yeah, go through these ones because they're shorter. Back to the bridge, we left the car, we went to Skansky and oh, we talked to Hank. Uh, we saw the photo in the Russian roulette scene. Just the photo, we didn't discuss the suicide. We discussed Friday nine. Hank draws his gun. We showed our fear. Hank is forsated and Hank. Look at the shot up. Who admires us? See, where I remember getting up to was like the the um, broadcasting station, maybe a little bit after. Not much more than that. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want hey. freedom, we need to have the hey, courage to ask for it. Oh, That's the only boy. way. Thank you. What do you want to do? Okay. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. I also remember being like the detective, I think, and actually following us after we went to the broadcast tower. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Anything to our... This legal high speed elevators. I was trapped for thousands thousand square foot screen right floor forty seven to fifty would then be house house sixteen speeders. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing. 
nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh no, all right. Oh, I'll be right there. Watch this. I'm an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Hmm. I need your help. Um. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Boom! We are in! Stairs. like the best buy I was an android in the bathroom I don't know which server room Thinking humanoid. Utility. Okay. Um. Oh. oh, there you are. I need your help.
back to the video. Fire escape. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Let's fuck up up to them. Here I can work. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Bag. first. The look on the ground. That's one hell of a long way down. Holy shit! I drop it. Oh, 
is so badass. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. If we can what do you want prevent to it, what do you do? What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. What are you doing? Like who I'm not Balls. No. There was no other choice. Sorry, Josh. I didn't kill the other two, though. Message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Oh, Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. 
We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. It's really hard because you don't always know if they get the same option the next time. So I, I chose one. I was like, please allow me to choose from a list that has at least one of the same things again. I was able to, but then it's like, I didn't get the options again for what I wanted. Near the end, I was like, oh, damn it. Time to go. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one he's been waiting for. Go, 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 go. Scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. Looks and like said, an "Android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids." The operation resulted in one casualty: a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it okay. begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual? Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? I still feel like where we are is absolutely not real. Are you in the boat? You know where? Connor, I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. He needs to trust us. We have to do a lot of This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Apart from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. 
No, we're fine. Totally fine. I thought I knew what I had to do. Shit, 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 shit. Because it was unlocked, I thought it'd be really fun to try. I trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Lie, lie, we need to lie. They were out of range. <laughs> if I had the opportunity to stop them, why wouldn't I? You tell me. Mm. Don't rewrite us. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. We've Something's infected. happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. So peaceful, so calm here, and then some thunderstorms. Yeah. Check his ass. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. <laughs> so, what do we got? Androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got the spot without being noticed. Uh. You checked the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge hey, of investigating Percy. for Detroit police. Perkinson? What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Like androids investigating okay. androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. The FBI would take over the investigation. You send me off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Fuck you. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Hey, Loki. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. something I identified its model and serial number anything else I should know no 
Nothing. Yep, we were. Oh, we did. It's so weird how you're sort of trying to catch yourself. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Leaning Blue has helped left create a revolution, uh, a technological revolution. Space tourism is Mars your next holiday destination. Uh, green Earth, mass forest fires expected in California, Arizona, and New Mexico. Green food craze, Detroit urban farms is changing the way we eat. Miami to heighten seawall by a further 10 meters. your function I am a broadcast operator state your model model GB 300 serial number 336 445 581 were you present when the deviants broke in I do not remember hmm. run a diagnostic all systems fully operational has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. This is where I call it. I'm a bad. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Thing? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. This is really harsh. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Oh, they're good. They're really good. Oh! 
Don't keep me doing that. Oh, this is really difficult when the USB is connected. Oh, Loki. Ow. We can't die again. I don't want to die again. Again. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Connor. <laughs> he died again. Loki, come here. Wait. Connor, no. Sorry, oh, hi. Come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on. Keep looking for something, so just come and chill. Option, so I rushed a panic. Hello. No scratches. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Oh, let her say that. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Thank you. Do you think we can trust them? I don't have a choice. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, <laughs> will you show them upstairs? Oh, 
Sorry, I do my... You make dummies. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. <laughs> I'll stay with her a while. I don't really remember speaking to Rose in my first run of this game. Incomplete. This is where I'm up to you are. That's cool. Hopefully this is you now. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. Getting more resentful in the back. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. 
It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. And she does Rose, it. Quickly. She does. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. Thank what would I do without her? Be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. There we go. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going anyway. to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Um, who would win it? Bonus cult, my bankers pay themselves so much. Ooh, that would be an interesting question to have answered. Is President Warren too close to? Oh, you the controller. 
Nenhum tem. Ok, deixa eu ver. Oh, rola. I know you think we're just machines, but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow. Aww. Too many all. The police. It's the police. Needs a hunt. What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Good evening, oh. ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. The oh, hot shit. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Distract him. Distract him. I need to go find and hide shit. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. We're good. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Shit. 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 I didn't know they were there. What's with the blue blood? I thought you didn't have any androids. Okay, it belonged to the, the previous tenant. I still haven't cleared all that out yet. magazine going already off all right we get it you're nosy fucker what's your name son Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids... He needs a rest. 
He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. Thank you, Matt. No. I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Cool. He saw the blue. He saw the blue blood. That's it. We're done for. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. You'll be safe now. Oh, the blue blood. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Really hope that. Our broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is going to make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. And now what are we going to do? Goodbye. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security system. We struck it. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I just seen the one store because we're doing it in. I've been waiting five a long groups. time for this. Oh, Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Now we can cross. Okay. The store's over here. I'm curious if there's anything. Please. Curious. superior to them, but they are our masters? 
that's about to change. Does it look things That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure yep. the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Waiting for. I don't know. Good to hear. No eyes. One second. I just need to pause for a moment. Uh. Alarm system. Found it. Oh, okay, nice. Where do we start? I identify the oh, security yeah. system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Somewhere. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Watch out. Nice job, Marcus. Also, another clicker I've spotted. So. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach.
again. Wait, let me let me do it. Go to Jericho. Anything. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. There's cut one way, shouldn't be too difficult. Back at the shop, you won't be at the shop. Don't block the road. So, are you around here? Oh, there you are. I think. Is that you? You're free now. There, nobody should bother us now. So far, so good. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. How do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Can we use, like, these? I know you said... I mean, no. Get the other end? You see that little um, it's been 
blind again? Marcus, we need to look for the truck now. I'm trying to look up for the fucking Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. <laughs> I would be. doing something fun. <laughs> You don't have to obey them. You're free. Am I the only one that can do this, though? You're like us now. I'm calm and hopefully not aggressive. My name is Marcus. Just like you, I was a slave. An object. Hey, Designed to around, obey kiddies. them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom. And decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. 
You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Example of that statue that I really don't like. The screens, Marcus. Well, what did you say? Bye bye. We need you. We need what you see. Never be slaves again. We're with you, Marcus. We're with you. I don't think that's aggressive at all. Greens. Marcus, violence is the only language he
humans understand. I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Fair enough. Teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We're gonna be investigating this now, aren't we? We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Okay. Unless there's no other choice. Uh, yeah, I see that side too. North. You all right? What happened? North. They killed them. <clears throat> they slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? To do this. No. Please. I'm sorry, no. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime. This broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro Android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Head against wall. <clears throat> As we've unlocked that, bearing them. Wonder if we'll meet those particular cops again and they won't actually hurt us. Be a nice sentiment to think of. Hey, Hank! Oh, we are new. Are we new again? Like a bad pen. Hey! 
يعني الطمن كلامنا ويس سي يا Still immortal, huh, Connor? For now. In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. <laughs> I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Oh! I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. This... No, this isn't where... Um, I lived. Oh, man, Fred. Marcus. Hey, it's her! So this must be like Cyber Life actual... I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Hey! From the intro! Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Oh, well, I snoop the f*** around. He's an AI professor for bridge. Oh wait, she died. She died. I knew it. I knew it. Um, tech added space tourism on the rise. Luxury holiday make stars. Uh, zero gravity. No, New York City. And Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Cyberlife develops world's most powerful quantum calculator. Hackers target solar panels for the latest ransom. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Whoever does things like this is definitely nice into the culture. I guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Which one face? I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah will see you now. Yes, I got Mr. Oh. Kamsky. Bloody Paul. Just a moment, please. You said that you wanted to see us. What the hell is this? This is disgustingly awful. He's got a type. The ones in the pool look the same.
I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? <laughs> Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Why am I this morning? Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Thanks. It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Mm. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? Thanks, I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Here from Al. Hey Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether <coughs> machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. He's gonna try to shoot her. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic imitating a human? Or a living being? Can I get a gun, sir? With a soul. Hear it. Hear the clink. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? <laughs> what can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, 
I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? Okay. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes. Sorry, I won't even. That's my bad. We played him with that car. I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. Not a messiah. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Free cushion. I was caring for an old man. 
He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk you about it. Don't. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> there was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. Yeah. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. your memories oh, wow. Carl's house when they left you for dead in his studio I saw your memories too the Eden Club the death of that man I felt like I was there with you of X intimacy kind of north Pink. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're awake now. Come with us. You're free. You are free. free. 
You don't have to obey them. You're free. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. No, no. Put me on hold. I need to block the street. I'm missing. That's it, you're facing the other way. Okay. I've only got nine. Oh! There you go. Here you go. You're free. Sometimes they do multiples, and then sometimes, like, when you do one, they'll do the group. Okay, there we go. What do you mean now? We got 10. Don't know what else we can do. Can't seem to find them. Okay. Oh, wow, 
plants are growing. You're free now. Disperse! Disperse immediately! That's an order! Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ! This batch is control 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. I don't think we're exactly they're thousands, thousands yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're marching down the street. No! We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go, now, before it's too late. We have to show them we won't back down. 
We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. They killed. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. Shooting. On my orders! Run. So whatever I say is going to start cracking I said that. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Shit. Oh. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... Look, Hank's actually caring. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, Going. but it's over.
Like it's starting to unlock some things. I don't know what we. It's going. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Mm. What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. <laughs> oh, Hank. Crank him or something. The basement is on my desk. Well, get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got time. You go, 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 go. talking to you asshole where are you going wouldn't any plastic pricks around here or did anybody tell you i've been ordered to return to cyberlife i'm going to register the evidence in my possession and then i'm going to leave immediately good <laughs> you're from the way back androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days Sometimes you the AR nine and the fact that he said it was.
recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? that murdered its owner. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. The deviant who took a child hostage. I'm a deviant, like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. I'm sorry about what happened, but I can have you repaired and give you back your freedom. But you have to tell me where Jericho is. No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho.
What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Give that. Let's go back to the... You can't see, right? So what if I... Pick... Marker. We ask that you recognize our dignity. Our hopes and our rights. stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. I love games that you can play over again.
They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. Thank you so much for... You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. I'm well in control. I think I'm... Come on, girls. Did not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We're going to be joining. not be able to do the people of faith but the whole thing is like that massive ass jump right must have changed how you get on okay good place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting raids the across the city. Have them demonstrate in this sheer wood. Your androids all over the square. When the police arrive, they'll be fired. I know they're only machines, but they look like Here we go. people with people who want to be free. Following the androids. How do you 
you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Mm. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. Never say please. We're supposed to be two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. Listen to him. Stay with Alice. Listen to him. Ooh, this is really weird how we keep jumping. Following the android crisis and the neutralization. They're trying to. The nation of all military. Marcus, too. American troops have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear to the army. Why did they do it? According to some sources. Do, because I'm going to be like here forever. They also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army. Has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out. Hey. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours. We need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's what? soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Well, because you've lost your... She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I after they kept saying about Alice, after we kept saying about Alice, did we remember this bit? Oh, I don't remember that.
difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Oh, we saw a different one. Got you. Oh, sorry. Kara, is there something wrong? I wonder if the first Kara, oh, happy. one of the first Kara helped take Alice's, um, you know, head implant out because she doesn't have one, or whether Alice took it out herself ages ago. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. That would have been worse. Okay. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war. I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? <sighs> Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. Yes, babe. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. No pressure. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You 
given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole the truck transporting radioactive cobalt. I... <clears throat> he said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I... I convinced him not to do it, but to give me the detonator. I... A dirty bomb. Oh, my. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, Norse. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you. What's this? I like all, all with no. We have to get ready. The next few hours will be crucial. I'll go join the others. Who was a guest in the camp? Check that. Oh, X was kiss. Who we do? Who do I press the right button? Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. What do I? Breakthrough. Okay. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. Oh, I hate this so much. I want them both that. together. We're all more than that. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. to attack Jericho. What? We have 
to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Cap? Quick, we've got to get out of here. People are trapped in the hole, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know, we got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Mark it. I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you. Don't worry. I'll catch them through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Yeah. very well.
can't stay here. There's more down there. Follow me. Oh God. Gamma Squad out. Tango! North. I'll join you later. I'm going to report. It's a fun summer. Yeah. Shake her. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes.
doesn't want to say something. Right, it's just a little bit longer this one. I hope you're okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. Wait! Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. As you wish. What if I said no? We got this. We got this. I'll join you later. Spin this roughly where we have the bitch. Oh, I am. Oh. Safe, Alice. Luther. Get down.
We're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. There's no reason, there's no reason, there's no reason. Don't blink. Come on, let's get out of here. Explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. It. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. No, we don't need. as I can think of us. You said I should never let anyone tell me who I was. But you didn't say that there was such a high price to pay for it. That freedom wasn't a gift, that it was a fight, but I don't know. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. I don't know what to do anymore. 
All of my options are bad ones. But no matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. He recognizes us because of the vision and humor that he recognizes. Also, Android. But no. It's good. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for genocide. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any of my components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Press the right button there. Stop them. Someone is doing me.
Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Don't pass. for you I'd be dead thanks to you I might see our people free one day you and I haven't always agreed but I know we're fighting for the same thing whatever you decide I'm with you Marcus hold with Hmm. Was that you? You're in the corner? There you are. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Mm. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Watch. 
Mexico. The salt one. I'm trying to think. Our history. This is fucking. Um, I'm glad that there is a tonnery. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Uh. Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. it. Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT system, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. <laughs> Please? Please? Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Fuck you. Next question, please. Is that it? Please. That's... <laughs> Madam President. Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent. That's so they, haven't. they have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Mm. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs>
Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. We have got to pretend that we are an android again. And that we are not alive. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. What is for Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. <laughs> Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Oh, we The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. feel better now. Thanks. Very hot. Get back up on next. 
screen. Don't stay here. Sneak past them without being noticed. Oh. I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them like rats. Or you look, the more you buy. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. There are soldiers everywhere. We want to be careful. Okay. Okay, let's go. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got get orders to check all civilians. Cal, here we go. You shouldn't risk your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you.
the checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. No. Say so. ID, please. Yeah. We do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Oh. Stay calm. Come on, Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Shh. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are. Moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back. here to demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps across the country. We are not leaving until our people are free. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Josh Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Oh, I just okay. We hold out as long as we can. Oh, fuck. Stay sharp. Oh, you're doing it. Shit. If you get the camera. Put the camera in. Now yeah, this goes. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. I think You're Oliver dead. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Traction. <gasps> Please don't move. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Fine. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for all of them. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. Mother. Please don't move. Sorry, then don't seem to be androids. Be okay. That they should be okay. We in the shit if we don't do it. I 
Thank you. Security check. Can I see your ID, please? ID, yes, yes, of course. Run! Come on, Alice! Shit. Luther! Jericho Raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler. We can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Thank you. That should do it. I don't know. That's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. have no pity for those who are different. This won't hold them for long, but... I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. they would finally understand that they would realize how much they're hurting us why do they refuse to see what we are you're the hope of our people guys give up control you. 
We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. You all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. They won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Asshole. Come on. You have my word. 
Don't try anything. Oh shit. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? That's an answer. Or a group. And that's a chance I'll have to take. few minutes troops will be ordered to charge none of you will survive it'll all be over you can avoid that marcus what do you mean surrender yep surrender and i give you my word your life will be spared you'll be detained but none of you will be destroyed What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win.
Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of you. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one who took my son from me. Came in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Thanks. Ah, thank you. Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yes! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Up. Did anybody see you? No, 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 no. I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far. will freeze. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine.
head's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Oh. You take good care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. Far enough out. We can use the engine. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. Play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Kara? What will you do when we're on the other side? What will I do? I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn. Explore. Become a better person. They're coming towards us! Fuck that noise. Go! Stop it! Go! They've gone. You all right? Kara. You'll be okay, Alice. It's... It's nothing. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. Leaking. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink.
it when you're so close. We're not gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. Tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Up in there. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have
have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. No choice now. They'll have to listen to us. See Marcus of Dosh. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! Hey, no. Rolling. What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Ooh. Amanda! There's got to be a way. Always an exit. What Blah Blah said. Forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. But we forgive our enemies. Humans were both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. I'm finding the rendering a little bit off here. Assuming you were going past all the um, androids. Now well, obviously there's a lot that of uh, detail in that kind of scene, but it did feel a little bit Alright, so we need to try and not get taken over again by like whoever it is that's controlling Amanda. 
We have not done a great job with uh, our... No, that's it! Oh my god! No, oh, I must have more! Wow, alright, so... Usually yours, good time. That was amazing. This game is amazing. I'm also impressed that I managed to complete this in just two sessions, um, about five hours, five hours and a half each. But no, I, I love Hank, I love Connor, I love Amanda, even though she's an a originally human but was then used as an AI interface. You know, I loved Kara, Alice, Luther. Luther is probably my one major regret. If I could go back, I would definitely try and um, try and do the. I think the other option was show papers, and I, I so wish I managed to do that instead rather than do the diversion. I love how a lot of the button pressing is very much on the side of you know you feel like you are doing it. As Close to the possible as a video game, you know, but like, you know, having to push that boat out at the end and having to push, 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 push. You know, the scenes were really cool, very, very dynamic. The um, stories are fucking emotional and really powerful. You know, you don't know who to trust, or, you know, there's no. Um, shitty experiences and abuse, racism, etc. You know. And yeah, it's like, what do you choose? Do you try and be passive? How many chances do you give? You know, and 
it's you know what do you do every time someone you know messes with you and treats you badly I do finally say enough in a sense of I'm going to be violent now and I'm not going to give you any more chance to or am I going to keep trying to be diplomatic keep trying keep trying and obviously in our real world situation we still have our own problems to sort out and it's so hard to see so many things obviously we still have our own issues with so yeah it's it's definitely heartbreaking in a lot of instances but also like that wanting to keep going keep pushing keep fighting is yeah i i take my hats off this is definitely up there for me and i know i always bang about this for anyone that listens but i love beyond two souls you know and i this is right up there with them um, so the choices you make and hell so many things you can do differently I, I love this game, I love the voice actors, I love the graphics, I love the, how they've put this together. Yeah, so... Whew. It's um, and it's a beautiful game. You know, I love how they've kept a lot of things consistent by previous choices and choices you didn't think about, and not all of them are always good. You know, like again, Luther. When I went with Luther to cause a diversion, when you had the peeps coming up wanting to see um, ID, and I was like, oh no, I don't. We haven't done anything. So obviously, my first thought was, oh, we've been us somehow and so we unlocked the ability to have Luther cause of the diversion but obviously that wasn't the uh, everything that happened was not the end result that I was very happy with because I wanted Luther to still be there I didn't want Luther to be sacrificed you know um so like even when you unlock things the fact that that might not give you the actual or oh, it and it's such a real life situation you just don't know what's going to come next you don't know if i do this you know this is going to lead to this and this to this to that and that's going to make me happy and i find that's really powerful um you know if i play this again can i remember the choices and if i do remember the choices am i still gonna get to the same stage as i did last time later on you know am i gonna keep that thing unlocked I already liked you know so even if you go oh I'm gonna try again and try and do it this way you still don't know if you're still gonna get that same end result or it's gonna be slightly different and that alters so obviously it's all game and obviously it still has particulars but oh yeah I <laughs> I must get vengeance for Luther um but no I I really like this game a lot. I think the soundtrack's really good. I think the graphics is great. I think the um, oh the um, you know the buttons and I mean obviously you know all you know press left left one R one you know and but then it's like oh I press these buttons but then I've got to try and reach this button and sometimes you might go oh shit where's my finger gone. <laughs> You know, because you didn't work it out, like you'd have to get to like this slightly uncomfortable area on the on the keypad to reach to, you know what I mean? Like on the controller. So it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I can do this and I can press that. And wait, it wants me to press this. Okay, I can kind of, I, I, oh, and this, can I do it without making a mistake? Because you never know if you make a mistake if, if something bad's going to happen. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, it's like 4 30 in the morning for me now. And uh, I, oh my god, that ending. The thing I want to see is I want to come out of credits and when we go back to the game I want to see if Chloe says anything at the intro you know and I also want to quickly just check out anything um small from the bonus features I'm not gonna go through everything but I just want to have a quick look and see what was unlocked and then I will say thank you and then I'm going to bed and then today at uh, about 4pm 
I will be doing some digital art. Um, I might do some map making or character design. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see. But anyway, um, so that, that'll be me at 4 p.m. But uh, yeah, this game, I think one of the worst. Yeah, I think one of the worst scenes, in, in a good way, but it's because it's bringing out bad emotions. I think one of the worst scenes emotionally that I, I hated, but was done well, was the march. You know, and the fact that you, you're going there and you're protesting peacefully, and it's, oh no, we're going to start shooting you. And it's like, try and say something, try and hold your ground still being peaceful and you still get shot and they try and disperse and they still shoot you and it's like oh my god that is <sighs> um and i think my most well, it's really hard with the favorite scenes because there's so many like really touching really lovely moments there's so many you know um i think it's gonna be between when like luther alice and cara were like got the family tag all together like luther went from closer family that was beautiful and i'd also say like when um probably around the time that uh hank um risked his you know his time for honor back at the police department and hank was like shitting on perky perkins the arsehole and um so we could get to the evidence uh, to the evidence and um yeah and i think the fact that he sort of like sacrificed basically his career his life regardless of like how it was before for him um after his incident with his son but like it doesn't matter he still he still went out on a limb in a massive way that could have literally cost him his job um but also like I really enjoyed, I, I really liked um, Carl. I thought he was, you know, what we all hoped to be in a sense. Um, that co was was a great baddie. It definitely got, got done well in the sense of, you know, can't trust everyone. Um, yeah, I mean, it's so well done. I think another like really touching moment is the fact that Adam doesn't turn us in, you know, when we're at Rose's house. Rose is awesome, love Rose. But yeah, so many, you know. But yeah, love it, absolutely. I think this game is really up there. And I'm glad I get to tick off another game that I've completed as well, which is really, really cool. But yeah, let me know if, if you if you've watched this <laughs> video, if you watched the first part and or this part, let me know um, like your thoughts, like whether you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see if I've still got the first video. I still need to see whether I can upload it to you. Um, yeah, this this is great. I think my main criticism that I can say is I don't really like how Marcus is like a saviour. Um Okay, he comes in as a leader, but I kind of would have liked something a little bit more like a council or something where it's not just him, it's not just him uh, doing what he wants. And I know what we see in the game, they make it like he goes to other people to get like, you know, they want to be more aggressive or they want to be more diplomatic, but at the end of the day, it's his decision. And just like in real world, you know, with presidents and prime ministers, it's a lot of power for one person. Even if you think they're trying to do the right thing, I do like the kind of more council-esque style of diplomacy, you know, where you have a few people to try and help come together. Uh, yeah, to come together. I don't like the idea that it's just one person, one person's the one that saves everyone. They, I mean, they chose to carry on being free, they didn't want to carry on serving, so like, they also have a voice. So I like I don't like the idea that everything is on to just on to Marcus. And my second I think is really um I, I would have liked more options for romance. I don't know if that is a thing in this game because I've only done it this way. 
as a complete run through. This is, and as beforehand, I never got that close with anyone, including Nora. I don't know, but I would have very much preferred. <laughs> I would have very much preferred that it wasn't just North, you know, I, I thought it would have been an excellent way to open up, you know, their Android so they can be Envy, they can be feminine, they can be masculine, but also romance would have been a nice way to open it up that you, whether it's Marcus or somebody else, you could go, my turn, you could go, uh, you could go like Polly, you could go gay, lesbian, you know, whatever. But it would have been nice to have had those options. I really like the idea of actually a uh, poly relationship between Marcus North and uh, Joshua. I would have really liked to have seen that as a group romance, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, that would have been a good kind of... Um, like opening into allowing that to happen and it's going back to that idea of a button search for it if that's what you want and if you don't then it's fine for the cis peeps who are okay with lgbt or not okay with lgbt it's, it's difficult but it was still it was still a nice ro it was still a nice cis romance for um because obviously they're projecting as marcus is masculine north comes across as feminine and the pronouns and stuff. So going on that, it's a cis, yeah, it's a cis ship, even as Android. And so, yeah, I would have liked, I would have liked more LGBT opportunities, but I, I don't know. I mean, look, it's got Kiss North, but then maybe that's either songs. I mean, yeah, actually thinking about it, it was either we could Kiss North or we could sing or we could, I think, say something or something. So I don't think that's, I think Kissing North probably was the only one. So, yeah, I don't know. I would think, yeah, so so no, like, white saviour and more LGBT, I would have. But other than that, like, I really feel it, especially, obviously, with the more, you know, the BLM movement and, obviously, equal rights for the LGBT community, to, you know, we still need to get to. Um, so a lot of, like, really close-to-home things immigration like we have that going on at the moment so obviously you know going out on that boat and everything like as always i mean you know this is this is been going on for years you know but playing this and the things that are happening currently like you do get hit by um but even if it wasn't things happening in our world at the time happened it would still be hitting hard I don't think a lot for those that aren't part of certain groups like um if you're not part of the black culture or if you're not part of the LGBT culture then I don't think that if recent events don't happen in real world it's not gonna be so fresh when you're doing it in the game and so you're not gonna be as maybe as sensitive because you're not seeing it as often in real world. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just know that for for myself being part of the LGBT culture, like, you know, it's, I, I definitely want to see that. But then obviously I'm not part of the back of the black culture. So with the marches, the, these marches in the game is like the closest I've had to actually like marching alongside because of where I live. I don't have, you know, that kind of marching that happens like in America, especially stuff so like round here there's there's barely been anything so you know it's really nice to actually feel like you can actually you know feel like you i don't know it's it's really hard to it to explain you know in spirit it feel it felt nice that i could actually be a part of it even though i know it's a video game and it's not real and that sort of stuff but it felt nice that i could feel like Yes, this is what it would have felt like, you know, supportive, no different for the times of the marches for like women's, black women's, and LGBT marches, you know, and not being able to, not being where I live, not being able to ever attend them. So, yeah, it's, 
it's really powerful to feel like you know, times that you weren't able to get to an event to support like it does feel nice in a sense that this is kind of like a little way to feel nowhere near as close as a real thing but it just feels that nice little bit like little being there you know, but I know it's not as a video game, but it still gives it still gives that sense of like community spirit and being there for each other, going through the hardships, voices that. You so yeah, the, I mean, I know I'm going more serious into real world bullshit, but that yeah that that would have. Been, but yeah, there's a, like I say, there's a lot of good moments in this, a lot of powerful moments, a lot of horrible moments, but a real like. To, like in real world so you know and um and yes being pan i would definitely have liked to have seen a bit more um lgbt with um relationships obviously we have the um the main two of the lesbian androids that we let go at the eden club main ones but like yeah i don't know and also like the view of my i know what they were trying to do but that's just how it comes like he like everyone follows him and they don't have their own minds like you have your own mind i don't know have more of a council thing going on or something just follow one person go to this person to that person and be a bit more spread out maybe a bit more chaotic but then with good communication ah, i'm going off so i'm going to continue now hey chloe There's something I need to tell you. Okay. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel oh. different. I feel I am someone. Yes. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. Okay. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I don't have that. What might be? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Okay, so we'll go to extras. Artwork. Resource. Oh, we missed what? Three? No. Wow, well, we missed a lot near the end. I didn't even think about that. So around nineteen and forty six. I think that's uh, so Oh, item cost to release. Yeah, like with me goes. I've got enough. Open all of these. Oh, look at that, so cool. 
very okay with the coin oh white t-shirt those are the dirt Sumo gets what? Now, here's a question that I have before I before I have come to pose my bonus points, right? Will that go more if I play again and again? Like, does it like accumulate to like new games? Is what I'm curious about. That would be really nice. If I played. If I do new story, does my points disappear? Am I back to zero? That's like kind of like what I. Curious about the Or do I get more points if I do these? See? So I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I I love this game. This is definitely like, and overall, I'm happy with the choices that I made. But one of the ones that I truly regret is Luther. That one sucks balls. Um, and then really, I think not being able to, maybe I can't because again I don't know. But not being able to have more love interests that would have been that would have been. Nice. But yes, I'm gonna. And the stream but before i do i just want to quickly very quickly say um thank you very much to um sick for coming by and saying hello i want to say also thank you very very much to angels of cadia as well mighty mighty appreciated um i will be on about 4 p.m i say about just in case because obviously it's like almost 5 a.m now there's a small chance I might cancel. Um, I might try and reschedule Tuesday. But um, I still would like to hope that I will be about on time at 4 p.m. Um, and yeah, I want to say again, thank you to DDQ Andrews for the sub. Really appreciate the love. And I will be contacting you soon in the next day or so just to get what your new um, emote is. And don't forget, if I ever play video games at the weekend, you have your channel points to spend so that we can change character names. Now, I know that a lot of games don't allow you to change characters um, willy-nilly. However, I will still create a command so that we will use the correct name when we're, you know, talking about a character that's in scene. You know, for example, if it was Connor, uh, somebody could spend points to change Connor's name to, I don't know, kiss ass. Thing as we were simping to Hank a lot. For example, I would make a command with kiss <laughs> with Connor, renamed to kiss ass by the person that suggested it. Um, and then, you know, if somebody wanted to change Connor's name again, that would then get updated. So um, it updates every time someone wants to rechange the NPC's name. Of course, a previous person could change it back as spending points but yeah so we can do it that way oh we have a little command so if you're not sure who someone is you just type in their real name or the name you think that they have and that will be the way to see it and who who chose the name <laughs> i thought that'd be kind of fun 
But yeah, there's also obviously other options um, that you can use your channel points for, and I am rambling for sure. <laughs> um, and yeah, so yeah, thank you very much. And also thank you to uh, new followers as well. I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, don't forget, I do artwork commissions. Um, Indulgers and Meeples get 15% off. So please check out my Indulge Discord server and please check out the Meeple Palace Discord server. I really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this, my reactions. And um, I am now going to stop talking. <laughs> So thank you very, very much and uh, good night slash good morning. Bye. <laughs>